My name is George Simons. I'm a co-founder of solosuit.com. I'm going to show you, all y'all in California, how to respond to a debt collection lawsuit in your state. All right, so this video is specifically for California. Let's go ahead and dive in. All right, first we're going to lay out uh, a couple key points to know when you get sued. And we're going to show you the three steps of responding to that lawsuit. And finally, we're going to talk about some things that are peculiar or specific to California. Primarily, I don't know what type of fee you have to pay. All right, Fees can get substantial in California. You want to make sure you aren't paying more than you need, but you want to make sure you are paying the right fee. All right, first, when you get sued in California, you're going to receive a document uh, honestly, like a whole, practically a whole folder of documents that look like this. All right. This is a summons in California. Uh, it shows you who's suing you, who their attorney is. Also gives you the court ad address of where you're being sued. Okay. And this is a complaint document in California. Okay. This shows you why you're being sued and for how much. All right. When you receive those documents, the deadline, the, the clock starts ticking, all right? You only have 30 days in California before you automatically lose your case. All right, let me say that again. You only have 30 days in California to respond to the lawsuit or you automatically lose and then everything the other side said about you is now legal fact. Whatever they said, they could say, yo, yo, it was a million bucks. You don't actually owe a million dollars. We never respond to them in, in court. You'll lose. And now you do owe them a million bucks. That's rough. All right, so strong incentive to respond and to not allow that 30-day window to close and for you to lose your case. <clears throat> All right, a um, couple notes. The 30 days begins after the date you are served. Okay, so it begins the day after you're served. The 30 days includes weekends and court holidays. However, if the last day falls on a day the court is closed, then you have until the next day that the court is open to file your answer. Okay, also, another little stipulation here. Also, if you might have 40 days to respond if you were served by substituted service, this means the summons and complaint were given to someone else. They weren't given to you. They were given to someone else in your household or place of work. And then another copy was mailed to you. In that case, you have 40 days from the date of the mailing to file your response. However, don't, don't bet on it. Uh, you have to count on these extra 10, before you count on these extra 10 days, make sure the plaintiff's proof of service says you were uh, substitute served and not personally served. All right, so make sure that the plaintiff agrees that you were substituted served and that it's actually on the, uh, the proof of service, which should be in the documents that you received. Okay, honestly, the best policy is to respond as soon as you can. You really don't want to wait. Uh, you don't want to play games with the deadlines, right? Get on this, get going, get your answer filed quick. All right, <clears throat> now I should say that uh, solo suit, we can do all of this for you. All right, just go on over to solosuit.com. We can help you generate an answer document in 15 minutes. And we can also have an attorney review the document. And, you know, we'll actually file it for you. Just go over to solosuit.com, get that done. All right, now we're going to review briefly the three steps to generating uh, an answer document to respond to the complaint and summons that started the debt collection lawsuit. Okay, we're just going to go over these briefly. For a more in-depth discussion, you can go over to our more in-depth uh, guide. All right. Okay. Step number one, create your answer document to the summons. All right, you're going to make an answer document. You can do it at solo suit or you can just use a form document. Uh, and then you are going to, in that document, respond to every allegation in the complaint. All right, so the complaint might say, uh, John Smith owes me $10,000. Right? Let's say you're John Smith. In the answer document, you're going to say, nope, 
deny that, right? You're going to deny it in the document. Okay. Then you're just going to go through all the allegations and either admit, deny, or say, I don't know, to every allegation. Number two, assert your affirmative defenses. What the heck is an affirmative defense? All right, basically, we're just saying you got to make your defenses. All right, this is where you can lay out. It's actually the only place you can lay out all of your defenses. If you don't do it here, you can't do it later. All right, so you want to make sure you get all your defenses in there this time properly. Again, SolarSuit does it for you. Makes it real easy. Some defenses include you don't actually owe the money. Actually, I already paid off all the debt. Actually, they're suing the wrong person. Nope, I'm not going to pay that debt because the statute of limitations has already expired. Statute of limitations in California. What does that mean? Let's dive in a little bit deeper. Oral debt, two-year statute of limitations. Written, promissory, open, or credit card debt, four years. Judgments, ten years. All right, so that is statute of limitations in California in a nutshell. And then finally, step number three. File your answer with the court and mail a copy to the other party. All right, well, that's two documents, right? So you have to make two copies of your answer document. Send one to the court, one to the plaintiff's attorney. In most cases, you don't want to send it to the plaintiff. All right, you want to send it to the plaintiff's attorney. That means if like Portfolio Recovery Associates is suing you, don't send it to their main office, to their headquarters, no. You send it to their attorney's office, which probably will be the attorney that's located in California, possibly somewhere near you, okay? All right. Uh, a lot of people in your position end up using solosuit.com to generate their answer, uh, really because this stuff can get really complicated and confusing, and you don't want to mess it up, right? So you can use our form. It's kind of like a TurboTax-like web form. We just go to solosuit.com. Click get started. It takes about 15 minutes. We ask you questions and then you give us answers. We use your answers to generate an answer document for you that you can then download and uh, file with the court or we can file it for you. Okay, let's go on over there. Super easy to do. Finally, in California, a big need to know is the fees. All right, California does things differently. Uh, sometimes for better, you know, sometimes for worse. Um, in this case, uh, I don't know, but it's going to cost you a lot more money. All right, California has some of the steepest fees out of any state in the U.S. I don't think it has the steepest, but they are steep. So uh, let's go ahead and first dive into the fees um, with the con uh, consideration. Remember, California, you can pay the fees or you can apply for a fee waiver. Uh, we'll go into the fee waiver more in detail. Sometimes it can be difficult to, not everybody qualifies for the fee waiver. Some people do. Okay, first, the fees. So it breaks down based on the dollar amount that is in controversy in the lawsuit. So how much money they're suing you for, that determines your fees. Okay, first, if the amount is over $25,000, so if you're getting sued for like $30,000, and to answer that lawsuit, you have to pay the state of California $435. I don't know why. All I got to do is like take that paper and like whoop, give it to the judge. That's it. That's going to cost you $435. All right. Next, $10,000 to $25,000. $370 fee. If your amount is up to uh, 10,000, then you're gonna pay $225 fee. Okay, so let's say the lawsuit is just $9,000, you're gonna end up paying $225 to file the answer. And then small claims, uh, really that just depends on like how your complaint uh, is set up. Small claims to answer, you have to pay $181. All right. <clears throat> so in recap, over $25,000, you have to pay $435 fee. 10 to $25,000, $370 fee. Zero to $10,000, $225 fee. 
and for small claims, $181 fee. Right. Generally speaking, uh, you can just pay this at the court or if you do it by mail, just make a money order and stick that in the envelope and then send it off. Uh, again, solo suit, we can pay this filing fee uh, for you with our mailing into the court. Okay, so let's head on over to our website and get that done. All right, so I know everybody's wondering, you know, hey, what about this, what about this fee waiver? <clears throat> fee waiver sounds pretty cool. I don't have to pay anything. All right, yeah, that's, that is cool. But first, you have to qualify. All right, so don't get ahead of yourselves. Let's see if you can qualify for the fee waiver. So there are three ways to qualify for a fee waiver. All right, and this is this is what the fee waiver looks like. Now you can see, you know, standard, unappealing, not visually appealing government form. All right. If you so first way to qualify, if you're receiving public benefits like uh, Medi-Cal, food stamps, CalWORKs, general assistance, SSI, SSP, tribal, TANF, IHHS, or CAPI, you can qualify for the fee waiver. All right, so if you're getting government assistance, it's basically a sign that you're going to be uh, generally like low income enough to go for the fee waiver. If your household income before taxes is less than the amount listed on form FW001, uh, then you can qualify for the fee waiver. Right? So we'll, we'll link to that form. You can just check it out to see if your income uh, qualifies. Okay, so that's the second way. And then third way you can qualify is, this one's pretty general, if the court finds that you do not have enough income to pay for your household's basic needs and pay the court fees. All right. I mean, in my mind, that's basically like everybody, except for like maybe Mark Zuckerberg, who's got that money just to pay that $435 fee. Am I right? Yeah. Um, you know, so you know, feel free to try that fee waiver out in that, uh, in that regard. Hopefully, maybe they'll waive your fees. What happens if you do get the fee waiver? Uh, all of your fees are, grant, are, are waived for the remainder of the trial. Uh, you know, what does that, what does fee waiver mean? Uh, basically, you have the fee, the filing fee they have to pay to the court, and then that fee uh, gets waived. Okay, that means that it is, uh, the, the court gives up their right to charge that fee. Okay, so it's waived away. Um, not all fee waivers are granted. Uh, it, it can be denied either with a hearing or without a hearing. Sometimes ask for more information. It can get kind of complicated, honestly. <clears throat> okay. So, just in summary, uh, you can apply for a fee waiver. We've included the link down below. Um, you can get a fee waiver if you're on government assistance, if your household income is low enough, and if the court determines uh, that you just can't meet your household basic needs and pay the court fees. Uh, the the fees range from four hundred thirty five dollars down to one hundred eighty one dollars. All right, that's it, folks. That is how you respond to a debt collection lawsuit in the beautiful state of California. Uh, if this video has been helpful to you, please go ahead and subscribe. Uh, it helps us out, it helps more people find us. Also, go ahead and ring that little bell down there. That thing is really like the gold. Uh, best thing you can do to help us out is ring that little bell. Um, leave a comment. We're happy to get back to them. Usually we get back to comments within 24 hours. Um, also, a great way to just get in touch to us is just go to solosuit.com. And then we you can just call our phone number up at the top of the website. Um, just give us a ring. We're happy to chat, happy to answer your, uh, some of your questions. All right. Take care. Have a good one.